Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Some of us do Uber and Lyft part-time, uh, days off from work, and uh, or just whenever. But some of us do it uh, full-time. We do this as a living. And we call that a professional Uber or Lyft driver. So this is a video about how to be professional driving for Uber and Lyft. Stick with us. So before we begin, click like and subscribe to this channel so that we can keep bringing you content like this and some content like this one right here. Some of our content is really serious, like this, and some of our content is really silly, like this. In any case, this is a channel that you should subscribe to. This is my lift screen, and you can see I've made $186.29 today. And if I come over here to Uber, that's $57.12. So let's add that up for you. $57.12 plus 186.29. For a, a grand total of $243.41. Look at this truck. There's nothing in it. This is an empty truck. So I have a book. It's a little tattered. I need to fix that. This is the book I put together. Fun things to do in Amarillo, Texas, where we are here. It shows people a little bit about the local, uh, you know, the local city that they're in. In case they fly in and they might want to know a little bit about Amarillo. You can see we have a little sign on the window. Notice, for security, this vehicle is equipped with audio and video recording devices. One of those is on the other window as well. Now, some cities, they have a lot of problems with their drivers. Sometimes you see drivers on YouTube uh, dipping into the tip bucket for the uh, driver or in some way uh, acting inappropriately and uh, then complaining to Uber or Lyft that the driver was acting inappropriately. So the driver has a dash cam video in order to prove his innocence. In my case, I have twice found empty beer cans in the seat pocket after completing a ride. So can you imagine? That means somebody was probably drinking in the car while I was driving down the road. And suppose I get pulled over for a, uh, a traffic violation of any kind and the policeman discovers an empty beer can in the seat pocket. How am I going to prove that I wasn't drinking and driving without a dash cam? So a dash cam can protect you in case, uh, you know, something happens. Besides keeping the car clean, I have this uh, scent which I bought from AutoZone. Spray this and it makes a nice smell in the car. I also have some of this uh, Febreze <laughs> and that makes a nice smell in the car. Because sometimes you have somebody get in a car who is frankly inebriated with too much alcohol. And after they leave, the car smells like alcohol. So you want a, a little spray, a quick little blast of something to make the smell in the car a little better for the next passenger. So take some pride in what you do. If this is your job, if this is your means of generating an income for you and your family, take some pride in what you do. Let me tell you a story that happened to me the other day. I got a, uh, an Uber call to pick somebody up on Amarillo Boulevard, which is a main drag here in Amarillo. And what it was is two guys going to the airport. They had some luggage. They were in a parking lot on the side of the road with another Uber driver. The other, other Uber driver's car had broken down and they couldn't proceed, so they called for another Uber, which was me, and I came along and picked them up. While we left, they told me that, you know, what happened is that car that the driver was driving, the previous Uber driver, kept breaking down. It kept stalling at every uh, red light and every stop sign. And then finally, it just stalled out and they couldn't get it started again. So they had to call for another Uber. And then I noticed that when the other Uber driver had his trunk open, his trunk was full of luggage, which did not belong to the two passengers that he was giving a ride to the airport with. 
that luggage belonged to the Uber driver himself. He had all kinds of, excuse the expression, crap in his uh, trunk. He had all kinds of bags and, uh, you know, so it looked like he was living in his car and his trunk was full. And so these two guys going to the airport had to put their luggage on top of the Uber driver's already existing luggage in order to get to the airport. And when his vehicle broke down completely, then they called me to come pick them up. And curiously, the route that they were on was not the right way to go to the airport. So the Uber driver was not following the proper navigation to get those two passengers to the airport. You'll see that there's nothing in my trunk. It is uh, empty. So keep your car clean inside and outside. Take it to a car wash every day and vacuum your car every day because people will track stuff in from their shoes you know, onto the carpet of the vehicle. So make sure you keep that clean. Don't have a lot of little pebbles and straw on the floor where other people have come in and left their footmarks in your vehicle. Clean that out at least once a day. Let me tell you another story. I picked up this lady the other day and uh, she was taking her laundry to a laundromat. And so she was loading her laundry basket into the back of the trunk and then we were going for a ride. And she told me a story, which was kind of horrifying story, but she was picked up by a Lyft driver one time and they were going down the road and then he offered her money for sex. He said, you're a very beautiful woman. Uh, if I give you $100, will you go home with me and we'll have sex? But she didn't think that was appropriate and she didn't want to have sex with that man, so she declined. And I asked her, did you report that to Lyft? Did you report that person to the police? And she said, no, she didn't. And I told her that in the future, make sure you do it. And also, make sure you give that driver you know, one or one star. Don't give him any more than one star rating. And don't don't give him a tip. That driver should be removed as a, as a driver for Lyft or Uber. Now I have a, an Uber ride. It's uh, an eight minute trip, six minutes away. Uh, I have to go attend to that. Now I know you're not doing those things, but it is disheartening to hear that there was actually a Lyft driver in my city that actually did that to a passenger. The point of this video is act professionally. Keep your vehicle in a professional way. Keep it professionally clean inside and out. And you act like a professional. Be polite, don't be rude. If somebody treats you rudely, then figure out how to deal with that. Anyway, be professional, be a good driver, and see you in the next video.